Hey, this is Juan from Pelton FX and my 435,000 video for my website. And we're doing the after knee. It's by Earthquaker Devices. It is a reverb pedal times a thousand. I would have to say delay, modulation, reverb. There's a lot of stuff that it does. Nick Reinhardt's here and he's gonna take over and explain this heavy duty pedal. All right, this is one of the deep Earthquaker devices. There's a lot going on in this thing. It's not just the reverb pedal. If you're familiar with Earthquaker stuff, to me, the dumbed down version is this is the Dispatch Master's like older, weirder brother. <laughs> right. And the Dispatch, Dispatch Master is already like a weird little dude on acid, like a little reverb guy that just discovered <laughs> like acid and like PCP and stuff, where this guy is just like the older brother that taught him to take acid and do all the crazy stuff. At the heart of the afterneath is a very short set of multi-tap rhythmic delays that create a sound that they refer to as otherworldly. So it's the otherworldly maniacal reverb pedal. Uh, okay, so I know a few of these. Uh, right off the rip, there's a mix knob, which can go from completely, dry. completely yeah. dry to mostly wet. Uh, the dampen is like a tone control. Length is the decay. Uh, reflect. Of course, they always have cool names for their yeah, stuff. Yeah, it's not too. like I, when I do clinics, I go, oh, I'm not really sure what reflect means because it's not like delay, repeat, or right. anything. It's some bizarre word named reflect. But I think that's cool. I yeah, like no, for sure. You got to just relearn it because it's not your typical pedal. Okay, the reflect, quote, functions like an analog repeat knob on a delay, taking the output and sending it back in. It can self-oscillate if you want it to. Awesome. That's yes. what you want in a reverb delay pedal. This controls the attack of the delays. To the left, you can hear the pings of the multi-tap dancing around each other. Yes, that's what you want. You want to hear the multi-tap pings dancing. <laughs> um, as you turn it to the right, it reduces the attack and smears the delay together, creating a more reverb-esque sound. Smears. Smears. That's so rad. So basically what's happening is when the diffuse is all the way to the left, it's kind of separating it, I guess. And then when you do this, uh, okay, this would be like have pouring a bowl of cereal. Like you pour your Cheerios in the bowl, and then when you add the milk to it, you're like turning up the diffuse, and it's just smearing it all together. Or maybe like this is when you just are chewing your cereal, and then when it gets down into your stomach, it's all smeared up and crazy. <laughs> okay, so the drag, the drag, I could probably even describe this without reading it, but I'm going to read it. This is a delay, pre-delay time control. It slows down the reverb. The drag, drag control is very much like the tracking on the rainbow machine, including working in reverse. Fastest to the right and longest to the left. Turning it while feeding information into it can create an awesome sound like digitized orchestra warm-ups. Okay, right off the rip, there that was. It's got kind of like a reverse reverb sound to it too, which I always love reverse reverbs. I use it on vocals, guitar, all kinds of weird sounds. So that, that kind of swell into it. I'm a big fan of that. Digitech did stuff like that. They had some pedals that did things like that in the 90s, which I use. So that I think is really rad. Um, I'm just gonna kind of leave everything down and have the drag all the way down because I think if I have the set, this is like my favorite sound out of it. So, okay, that would be the not smeared. That's like nice and tight. We hear it, we're hearing the ping dancing around. Yeah. Awesome, okay, so I'm gonna feed information into it and then mess with the drag knob. Yeah. 